Hi everyone, this is Alma coming to you from Long Beach, California. Today is Friday, August 6th of the year 2021, and this is going to be floss tip number 65. So as always, I want to welcome you all. Welcome back to all my current viewers and subscribers, and thank you as always for your continuing support. I want to welcome anyone that's visiting for the first time. I hope that you like what you see, you find a reason to stay, subscribe, and continue to follow me on my stitching journey. Um, so I'm back after only one week. <laughs> um, I am participating in an event in Semi Saint Stitchers called Uno, Uno, fondly called Uno. Um, and that has us work on four different whips, um, depending on, you know, they spin a wheel and that determines what you're gonna work on. So, you know, that challenge alone has has me working on, on quite a few whips. So I figured between that and what I was already working on anyways, outside of the challenge, it merited <laughs> a, a regular floss tip update. So without further ado, let's get to the stitching. And as always, first thing I'm gonna show you is my focus piece. It's my Fame Fairy, a mini midnight stroll by Julie Fane artwork are charted by Heaven and Earth Designs and for this one I was able to complete my weekly goal I wanted to do 1500 stitches on this this week I want to continue doing 1500 stitches every week so this is what she's looking like so far and the 1500 stitches are for a, a challenge a monthly challenge in magical stitches we have to do battle monsters, and there's three levels. There's a 500, a 1000, and a 1500 level monster. So this is what I'm using for the 1500 level. And I am now working by color completion. So these two colors right here, the pink and the purple, the ones that I have right now. So those, I'm gonna go ahead and finish those two first. And I've got so most of the 1500 stitches were done using that one purple. I think I have like 6,000 more stitches left to do on that color. So it's gonna keep me busy for at least a couple of months, <laughs> maybe a month and a half. Um, so yeah, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on her. She's now currently at 35% completion. Um, so she's, she's coming up right behind my other Hayde uh, Mini, the Mini one, which is the girl at the beach, um, she is at 37%. So I feel like this is going to easily um, overcome that. <laughs> um, but it's fine because it's it is a gift. I want to I want to give it to my my goddaughter. So I want to finish it as soon as possible. Um, another whip that I'm working on regularly is my Daily 30 whip, which. I've decided to go ahead and use my Sleeping Beauty pattern. This is um, by Stitch Fairy Treasures on Etsy. And this is a paper pattern. Um, I, it's not Pattern Keeper compatible. So it's it's kind of slow going because the symbols also look very, very similar to each other. So 30 minutes a day, I only work on a couple of colors every every day so it's a lot more bearable and this is what i have so far so you can see um this is the tip of the crown right here peeking through so this is obvious you know you can kind of tell where the flowers are gonna go um and this is her face right here so these are, this is the eyebrow and then this is where the eyes or you know because she has her eyes closed so that's the eyelashes so it's great she's taking form and I'm very excited and again working two colors at a time is a lot easier than just being overwhelmed by all the <laughs> all the similar symbols so um, that's definitely one that I'll keep working on um, you you have to work on it five at least five days a week so um, I usually I usually start on Fridays because that's when the weekly prompts come out so I'm done by the middle of the week the following week um, besides that, um, I do have the 
the monthly the 1000 stitch monster that i'm working on oh well first let me show you what it actually is it's wonder woman is the one that i'm using for for this one and it's this one it's um a tilt and craft chart based on daniel cordex artwork the full name is wonder woman warrior princess but i just you know wonder woman for short it's fine so i was i was working on this last night not too much got done um I'm working on, uh, yeah, it's going to be this section right here. So this gray goes pretty much all the way out until the edge of the pattern. So that's the gray that I want to do. So if you can tell, I already graded that section. So I can go ahead and um, work that color all the way through. And then... Um, again, going back to trying to do color completions for some of my patterns, this one is going to, um, I'm going to do the 154, the purple, because that is used all over for shading purposes. So once I do that color, you're going to see like a very basic outline of pretty much everything. You're going to see her face, you're going to see her bodice, you're going to see everything. So that's the next color I want to do after I do the gray. And again, that's for the 1,000 stitch monster. For the 500 stitch monster, I used, and I'm gonna have to show you that on my tablet, I used my Amy, one of my Amy Stewart patterns. This is um, Reader's Paradise. This is what it looks like. And I did go, go big or go home on this one. I decided to go ahead and do super sized max color on this one. So because of that, I decided, you know, 500 stitches a week is not that much. I can handle 500 stitches a week. And I am, I did double dip with some of my weekly prompts. For daily 30, we had to work on some, on a, a whip that was our busiest, our busiest whip. So for this one, obviously, you know, there's just a lot to look to look at. There's the books, there's um, the posters, there's there's a few kittens hidden in there. So there's a lot going on. Um, so this was definitely a good a good candidate for that prompt. And this is what I have so far. So for this week, because I was still in school, I decided to go easy and just work on the the colors that had a lot, like. Again, it's it's hard to find because it is um, max colored version. It's hard to find colors that have you know a lot of stitches clumped together. There's a lot of color changes. So for this week, I kind of went the easy route and did work on a few that um, did have a lot of colors. So I did mostly the black over here. I did fill in some of the black here as well as down here and some of the 823. So the carpet that goes on the stairs is mostly 823. So I did start on that color. So this week I'll go ahead and do more of the confetti stitches and all of the other colors. I am missing a few colors, um, which sucks because I just went to Michael's. <laughs> I just went shopping and got myself some some floss and I totally forgot about this pattern so I'm now missing quite a few of the colors that I would need to finish this section I'm missing this is all most of the confetti that's left here is all one color there's a, like a gold orange color that I need to get that's also um, like it, it's a it's a it's a good chunk of this po of the of the po portion that is left to do is, is this one color so i'll figure out what to do um but yeah but this this week i'll go ahead and work on um on the confetti because I, I already worked on the blocks of color so that's that whip and then the rest of the whips that I worked, oh well, there's one more. I did work for, I did work on, again, going back to trying to focus on more whips. I pulled out my Eternal Promise 
This is a design by Matt Stewart. Again, another Heather and Earth Designs chart. We needed to work on something that had flowers. I forget which uh, prompt this was for though. <laughs> um, I think it was also for Daily 30, but it was only, I think it was only like 300 stitches. It wasn't too much to do. So, and I'm still stuck on the same corner. I'm still doing the flower border. So again, it has flowers all over. Um, and I did 300 stitches on this, on this side. So the plan is to just go ahead and do that top, top section of the border, go all the way through to the other side. And then I'll, I'll start on another section. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. And I still need to get the Krynik for this. It does call for Krynik to add a little bit of sparkle to those flowers. I don't know if I'll get Krynik or, or get um, Petite Treasure Braid. I've heard that that's also a good alternative. If you know of any other good alternatives, if you're just completely against Krynik and have other options or other suggestions, feel free to leave them in my box and the or a comment down below because um, yeah, I've never worked with it I've never worked with either of them so I'll be happy to to hear what you say before I take the blunt plunge and because I think I would need two of these two or four I forget um, so yeah so before I decide what to buy let me know what you guys think okay. so that's what I worked on for my prompts and then the other whips are just the Uno whips. So far at this point all of the whips have been called now. Um, again it all depends on the wheel so there could be a chance that one of them hadn't been called yet. So I'll go ahead and show you um, I guess in no particular order although I believe I do remember if I remember correctly um, this is number one Portrait of Veronica by Nora Corbett. This was my birthday start last year, and then it just didn't get touched for a long time. So I had a, couple, a few of my stitchy friends pick out the whips for me because I knew I wanted to participate in Uno, but I didn't know what I wanted to stitch on. So this was picked by Vicky from Reading, Reading and Stitching, our camp director of Magical Stitches. And this one was called on um, Wednesday. I have it written down here. It was on Wednesday. We were supposed to do, it was a skip card. So if, so they spin a wheel. If the wheel falls on a particular whip, you only have to do hundred stitches. If it falls on an action card, like skip or draw two or anything like that, you have to follow the instructions, but do 200 stitches on whatever whip needs to be worked on. So this was a skip card, so we needed to do 200 stitches on it. And this is what I have so far. So this is the ribbon that goes all the way to the edge of the pattern. And oh my goodness, like look at that. <laughs> I was working on this and I got very nervous. Um, I do remember when I first got the the fabric, I realized that there was a spot right here on the on the edge. So I remember um, shifting everything just slightly to the side for the sake of trying to leave that spot. Because you can't see it too much. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't show up as much on this side. It's mostly on the back side. Or well, what I did, you know, I decided to use. Because you could, you could have worked either way on this, but because the spot looked a lot worse on one side, I decided to make the other side the front side, um, if, if you follow that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I do remember kind of trying to see if I could shift, um, shift the entire thing a little bit to the side to avoid that place. However, I did get a little nervous because of how close it got to the edge. But she fit. It's a close fit, but she fit. And again, it was 200 stitches done. Mostly on, again, I just used the black so I could I could get to the edge. But I also worked on, on some of the dark greens over here. 
and today's draw or today's spin was draw two so we're supposed to do i think 100 stitches on two projects don't know which one i'll use yet but um this one got at least 200 at least it got 200 stitches this week so we'll see what she gets next time and then whip two is a whip that was picked out by Joni and I'll try to see if I can cover it up so you guys don't see the pattern so it's mostly a blur <laughs> but this is this is what it looks like this is what it's gonna look like um and this one was actually it was a um, from a, uh, a viewer, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Thank you so much, Debbie. Um, so she was kind enough to send me this along with some other patterns. And I decided to swap out the fabric because it, it was one of those printed patterns. So I decided to swap out the fabric because it was also like 11 count, like 11 count data. So I decided to just use up a spare piece of 14 count data that I had. And this too got 200 stitches. So I was originally working on this yellow. Um, so I finished up the thread that I had, but then the rest of the 200 stitches were done on the tree trunk. So again, I wanted to have some sort of foundation set in so that I, I could tell where I was a little bit easier. Because between all those swirls and you know all those flowers, it was it was kind of it was kind of hard to tell where I was. I kept losing my place so I thought okay I'll just do the tree trunk and the branches so that I can have a better gauge of where I'm at and this got 200 stitches it was a skip card so we got 200 stitches on it so that was this one and then um, whip three was picked by my friend Laurel because she's also working on this. It's my three things sampler by Moira Blackburn. I thought whip three, three things sampler. That's easy to remember. Um, and this one is coming along okay. This one only got a hundred stitches because it actually landed on whip three, so it only got a hundred stitches. So I may use this for one of the draw two, so it gets a little bit more progress into it because. Not too much progress to show this time. The 100 stitches pretty much consisted of these little flowers or the outline of the flowers. And then I kept going on the border over here. And that was it. <laughs> Nothing too exciting. Um, so I might just go ahead and, and pull it out for, for today so I can get started on the flower over here and fill that section up. I believe this is going to be a flower over here. There's a space between letters. So the plan is to go ahead and just finish up that entire section all the way down to this side and then call it for the year. Just really strange. Like it only, I feel like it only just hit me that we're, you know, over halfway through with the year. So saying stuff like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put it away for the rest of the year is not as crazy as it sounds anymore. Because um, it is about that time of year. <coughs> so I'll go ahead and pull it. Yeah, I think I, I will go ahead and pull it up for, for today. So I'll keep this handy and then I'll figure out whip two later. Um, the whip that has gotten the most work done this week is because, um, or, I guess I, I picked it for one of them was um, a wild card and then the other one was oh no that's great that's fantastic you can't even see it it's the bag that I was keeping it on oh I just flashed the pattern too sorry it's never more <laughs> my Lila studio and for this one it got so again, I got called for a wild card so we could choose any whip and put in 200 stitches on it. But then it also got called, um, I'm pretty sure it was on, on August, like the first, first day of August. 
so it was 100 stitches so it's gotten 300 stitches so far all of those 300 stitches have gone into this gate and the little tombstone over here and i'm using um every all the materials are for, from forbidden fiber company leanne was gracious and kind enough to send me a material pack essentially it was her own color conversion for the threads and um, hand dyed fabric as well so that I could work on it and I love the variation of it I, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's going to be easy to tell but but it's it's getting some like you get the really dark gray over here and then some lighter tones over here at the edge as well so I'm, I'm really enjoying working on this I don't get to work on with hand dyed floss so, so I'm enjoying it very much and it's 300 stitches that weren't there before so that's great <laughs> I started this on Halloween of last year and then I just didn't, didn't pick it back up at all so those are my four whips for Whipgo I don't know if I have I do have some plans it just fell over so sorry about that um, one whip that I am going to be working on is my Tilt and Craft chart. I'll just go ahead and take it out of the bag. So we need to work on something that we were crazy, that we must have been crazy to start to work on. And I'm working on this, it's, it's again, it's, it's another Tilt and Craft chart based on Daniel Cordic's artwork, um, Till Death Do Us Part. And I'm working on this because I have to stitch all the black background. So I just got done with all the, you know, never ending black from Hogwarts. <laughs> and I'm now working on this one. So I did start on it a little bit, but I only got like a hundred stitches done on it maybe. So this is where it's at so far. Again, just black, endless black. And I'm gonna be using, the, we, again, we just got our our uh, prompts for Daily 30. One of them is they have to work on something that I believe was Daily 30. You have to work on a chart that you call by a different name than the, its you know original name. So the official name for this one is Till Death Do Us Part, but I don't call it that. I call it my Corpse Bride pattern. I, I'm working on Corpse Bride. So, I'll go ahead and double dip with that one. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll work on this today. I just have a lot to work on this weekend. But again, I've got all the time in the world now. Well, at least for three weeks, I've got, <laughs> I've got three weeks off. So I'll stitch as much as I can because I know that once school starts and my job starts, I start on the 31st, um, I won't have I will have even less time because again I was working I wasn't working last semester I haven't been working so that's gonna be more time that I'm gonna be away from from my stitching but it's I mean it's a part-time job so it's not too too much but but still it's time away right it's still time um, where I'm doing other things so I believe that is everything that I worked on again lots of things lots of things um, Uno is great though. I'm really enjoying working on it um, because again, it's 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 fun. I was going to do an arbitrary August type of thing anyway, but a part of me is also like I also know that I can't really do something like that because I have all my prompts, right? I have all my challenge groups. Those tell me what to do. So doing arbitrary August and the, the weekly prompts is kind of difficult, if not impossible. So I'm not gonna, um, uh, at least for this year, I'll never say never, but at least for this year, I won't do the arbitrary August. Uno is pretty much as arbitrary as, as, as I can get right now, because that still involves, you know, tossing up a coin, right? They're spinning a wheel and telling us what to do. So that kind of fulfills <laughs> that, that need to have some sort of random, um you know order is there, is there such a thing as random order <laughs> randomness 
in in my stitching um, world I'm rambling now so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys <laughs> I'll continue working on those uno pieces I'll 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 definitely get to Moon Charmer this weekend as well as um, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, I'm participating in the Superhero Saturday style by Basha, the hashtag that was started by Leanne, Leanne Stitches. So those, I mean, between those two and I also have the Corpse Bride pattern to go. The Corpse Bride is a little bit easier to work on because it's just, it's just black stitching so it's gonna go fast. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I'll have plenty of uh, progress to show you guys next week because again, I'm out of school finally. Um, and yeah, I also, I hope to be able to show you some, some progress and I was going to mention a Stitch With Me as well. So I'm planning on film, filming a Stitch With Me since I haven't done it in quite a bit of time. So until next time, I hope you guys have a relaxing weekend, a productive week, and you always find the time to do the thing that makes you happy. Until next time, bye!